Yo guys, welcome back to episode 2 of our little, little Anna playthrough. Or look at mini series thing. I still know what I'm calling it. Uh, oh, and I want to show you guys this last time. You can also just jump on his desk, but uh, mash E until you look like. How do you want to look? But there isn't a single character with a giant beard, so. I'm guessing it's going to be this guy. Hopefully this time, I uh, won't be as bad as I was in the second episode <laughs> yesterday. Um, I'm just gonna do the usual thing where I just pat my stat, my uh, my stats, damage and armor, damage and armor, damage and armor, damage and armor. And I think no wait, can I? I can afford the gloves as well now. Yeah. Um, just constantly damage and armor until I'm actually strong enough to. Beat the final, or no, well, the final boss. Final boss I know of, which is the sandworm, which is actually just the second boss in the game. Hopefully, when you kill that thing, it also just goes away forever. I never want to fight it after beating it once. That is a decent heap of um, money. You don't have bombs. I don't. I can't remember how to. That was, that was my bad. I can't remember how to beat the. Or how to break those open. Uh, that blue crystal thing. That one. I was actually how to beat that, break that one open. Might be just a bomb. Might not. Could you not go onto the bridge? It's really difficult to jump onto the bridge without killing myself. Alright. Uh, I don't know if you have to access it through a secret room. We can, we can check if it's a possibility on this one. Always kill the spawners first, guys. They get hit. I don't know, bombs. Do you need a bomb and a key to access these chests? Um, that's probably not gonna happen. That seems like a very heavy investment. Um, in another indie um, roguelite game that has a large emphasis on using your consumables correctly. Uh, let's. Oh. Oh, these dodges are 10 out of 10 so far, guys. We are... Did I just get hit? <laughs> Immediately after complimenting your own dodges, get hit. That's it. That is indeed the poorly way. Alright, we've taken a substantial amount of dumb damage so far. Also, the rooms have become a lot more uh, crowded. Okay, this is down to the next level. And this is down to our first item room. Become immortal is the item I would like to see here. Battle standard. Increases move, attack, and throw speed at the beginning of a battle. That'll make clearing rooms a lot more efficient. Hopefully, um, it doesn't convince my monkey brain to play aggressively when it's unnecessary, but that'll probably be what happens in the end using these items. Right, let's take a sip here. I'm a bit parched. Ooh. Always break them. Wait, are there barrels at the start of each floor? And those barrels actually deal... Whoa, I'm fast at the start of a room. Holy cow. That was insane. Woo! Okay, your jump speed, uh, your jump distance is uh, directly connected to your um, movement speed as well. Uh, it, it seems like, so maybe I'm wrong, but we'll test it on the next room. It's going to be pretty difficult to test without getting hit, though. Okay, battle just started. I can jump pretty dang far. Wait, what, what, what are those? Is that all the mines? Did you guys see that play? Knocked him to the, into that little saw blade. On purpose, I promise. It wasn't an accident whatsoever. Trust me. 
Drop a random chest. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. And yes, please. So, right now I'm going to play this game. In the fashion of... So, so the main... Uh, I think that paid for itself. Spend the money you need to stay alive. And save the money that you can afford to save. It does make dealing with ordinary rooms um, substantially easier. As long as I'm not over aggressive, it should be... A pretty good item for us. Oh, a second bomb. That's nice. Uh, we need a key for here. I think that's worth it. I mean, it's, it's two chests. No, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, this is nice because there's a choke point. They can't actually get in here. What does this little potion do? Increase experience gain for a familiar. For how long, though? F forever? Oh yeah, it is forever. That's nice. So much money. Definitely worth a key. For sure. That was worth a key. We're on 700 gold again. We're on 600 before we went to the shop, so... Some definite value there. It looks like they each target a piece of, of gold. Um, and it falls on the ground. And then when you pick it up, they'll start freaking out and run away. So it makes it easier to find out which one's actually going for your gold. Alright, we've progressed quite quickly here. Um, the increased damage at the start of battle item is really cool. I quite like it. And also shows me um, how efficient um, the stats ups are, go are going to be. Um, and what avenues of stats you'll be able to get. Yeah. Is this like a... I'm curious. Okay, I know I went deep there, but I'm... This is all for these runs. The starting runs in a new roguelite are all for science okay you do everything for science you need to find out how everything works Woo! you run into it can i drop this item can i can i drop it no let's do this thing Temporarily increases throw damage or temporarily... Well, crit chance should technically be better. Um, why isn't one of the two potions I have fully restores your hit points? Oh, well, that was, that was embarrassing. Okay, well, four signs, we're definitely going to die. <laughs> I don't see how we're going to survive this one. The aggressive, the aggressive, the aggressive plays help. Let's find out if you can blow both of them open by putting a bomb in the middle. You can, but there's nothing there. That sucks, man. Let's get as much gold as we can before we die. Stop being so negative. You're the one who took the damage. Yeah, I am the one who took the damage. That's why I can say it. Okay. Um, the issue is we don't have a key. Well, the issue is I gave up all my HP to see how efficient gambling is in this game. Oh, that was the wombo combo that I give you a pat on the back for. That was that was pretty impressive. Knock me into the hole. That's some good stuff, man. All right, we had another little, a little nine-minute run just so we can grab some upgrades and pretend like it was all on purpose. We have two hundred left. Two hundred and thirty. Let's grab the bag upgrade. Um, you lose less gold. Um, when you die, which perfectly fits our play style of dying a lot and quickly after making a little bit of gold so that you can. Uh, Upgrade your weapons and uh, 
Let's go, Jane Line. Ooh, I want that. I also want this though. Let's let's not catch fire. Let's let's not. Wilder. I need Wilder. Okay, so I also wanted to test the fire damage thing out. That's quite nice. I'm pretty sure if you can get this just before a boss fight, it have some good effects. I grow off. <laughs> Gotta see them before they see you. Tent fully restores your HP at some stage. As it's into the starting room of a floor, one use only. Yeah, and then when you go into the tent, you you fully heal. I think. Um, so that that's gonna be pretty good to have. Not exactly sure how you e use it. Hopefully, it's not on the next floor because that'll be pretty redundant. So listen. Unless I end up taking a lot of dumb damage here, which is, as we have proven uh, time and time again, a very strong possibility. Would like to not burn. Thank you. Uh, just to make our own. Never mind. I'm I'm kind of liking this this thing we got going here now. Bugger off, man. Um, feels pretty good. Unless I keep doing stupid things like that. Okay, that's all I wanted. It's for the animation to go off as I leave the room. Uh, I really do think that the the last room on the floor, yeah, the last room on the floor and the first room on the next floor will always have healing items. Alright, lesson learned, and I kind of feel stupid now for complaining about not getting HP moving between levels. Oh, they also seem to have consumables. Okay, not all of them. Maybe... I think it might have a higher chance, but it, I don't think anything's definite. So we can come back to this tent later to heal. Should be almost dead and I think you need two hits. Yeah. Ooh, meat. I'm gonna try and not pick that up. Easy. Uh, that is shop. We luckily don't need to go to the shop to buy a hit point, so we can Wait, did we pick up a key now? Oh no, we picked up a bomb. That sucks. I wanted a key. Two hits on rats, three hits on the nest. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite glad I went for those damage upgrades early. And the, the armor. I don't know if the armor increases your HP or reduces the damage take you take, but that is essentially the same thing. The one just holds value always, and the other one is only useful if you get hit. But let's face it, I may get hit. Oh, I thought I could walk. Um, dodge that one, but clearly not. Cannot walk, dodge that one. It seems I've warmed up to the game now. Not warmed up to the game, warmed up on the game, but either way. Uh, I have... Become awoken. This is my final form. I hope not, because I'm still walking into holes. Uh, cursed chest? Hell yeah, hit me with that cursed chest. Why would I not take a cursed chest? King's crown. Items become extra fragile. What do you mean items become extra fragile? I can use one here, which is going to make a bridge, right? I can open it. I'm upset, but it's good that I know that that can happen now. I cannot plan for it, but try and uh, work around it, essentially. Just be prepared for it. Increases health, swing damage, and attack speed. High and branch. Data reference. Nice. That's good. That's good. That's good. I like that. 
yeah, let's head down to the next floor, I guess. That's my favorite part of like playing these indie games is like the references to other games and how many of them I can figure out. I really enjoy doing that. Okay, nothing in this last room of the floor. Uh, oh, yeah, I could probably try and... No, because they run towards the gold. Oh, the ten stays here. Good, because I completely forgot about it. Okay, back up to max HP. I think the armor increases your max HP. Um, not whatever else I was suggesting earlier. Damage reduction. Can't go right. Uh, these spiders terrify the living hell out of me because they can poison you. Poison really sucks. But they do die in two throw hits, so let's just try and avoid the bullet hull and uh, get them with those throw hits. We we'll have to figure out how they like aggro range and all that works. Have any keys for this? I thought I could walk under there. Okay, okay, okay. You need to pay more attention to that. For sure. Oh. Welcome to the rabbits, Black Rabbit's Bazaar. Where the wares and the weird are the prices. Weirder? Where the wares are weird and the prices are weirder. Feel free to purchase items on tables or maybe you can entice you with a proposition on my own. Would you consider selling me one of those super duper relics you're carrying? For how much? Oh, that's cool. No pressure. If however you change your mind, you come back and find out BR and we can work something out. You're gonna get mad again? No, you're not. Right, take this. <laughs> I want this. This looks good. Um, it costs a key for a steak. Costs a bomb for a key? Yes. Alright, so that's just a... Essentially... Oh. Ooh. Essentially a barter room. No! I thought I was going to blow myself up by standing there. Good lord, I had a heart attack. Oh, it's you. Oh, then get mad, bud. Why are you so mad, bud? What's wrong? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is how I fought him last time. Because I did not remember him being as difficult as when he gave me those two, like, quick little hits earlier. Whoa. This place is on fire, guys. Quickly get on this rat. Yeah. Three. Four. One, two, dodge. One, two, dodge. One. What does this even say? The mushroom grows in darkness. You telling me on one of these rooms is, is a mushroom room? Mushroom room? Yeah, I, I forgot we gotta keep an eye for mushrooms. I do think I actually found one, um... In the first two episodes I recorded or the previous thing we hey you can't do that and then not give me any time to react dang son where'd my house go well that's unfortunate that was close that was very close Oh, I missed. Oh, I your weapon with ice damage, I'm assuming. Is there an item on the pedestal? Yes, there is. Interesting. I'll take it. No, that's okay. No, it's okay. Oh, you have to, you have to, you have to trade it. You always have to leave an item on the pedestal. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I like it. Adds a uh, little summon summon, you know? Or some major. Increases max health after eating food. Every time I eat food, I'm gaining max health? Or what are you saying to me? 
Um, I am actually going to go back to the spawn if I can find it. And I'm going to camp. Nap time. Very calming sound. Twing. Twing. Okay. We have fully restored our H points. We have fully explored the floor. Uh, I believe there's something secret in that room, but I don't really want... Oh, well. We have four bombs. Let's use two of them. For science. The mushroom sleeps in the dark here somewhere? Cool. Then let's try and find it. No, not there. How about here? Nope, oh, not there. Okay, it lied to me. I am now unhappy. I think it just means on this, in a secret room on this floor, there will be... Um, mushrooms. But the thing is, I don't know where the heck the secret room is, nor how to find it yet. Without a dousing rod shimmering in the corner when I walk into the room. I think that's what the item's called, dousing rod. Hit points, double keys. I will be buying the double keys. What does this do? Overstocks the shop. Oh, it's unnecessary. And there's food here in case we take some dumb damage. I do hope we make it to the... Um, to the Sandworm boss fight thing. I, I really want to start learning her patterns because... That fight was so, 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 so overwhelming. Sup, buds? Madam, I'm going to have to kindly ask you to leave. The dungeon is off limits. Okay. If you want to be rude about it. Okay, I need a key to get in there, and I'm assuming you get that key from defeating the sandworm. Shift the food into the hole? What's wrong with you? I was about to say, I'm not going to get to half of these, am I? Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Sawblades did a pretty good job of... Uh... Excuse me? What are you, my... You need to die. No, you need to die like now. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, damn, those things are unpleasant to deal with. Good lordy. Add a room. What you got for me? Booties. Walk and jump on oil. It's not something I'd say I needed. Do I leave oil where I land now? Or is it just because I landed as the slime landed and it confused me? I think it was probably that. Where did that come from? Okay, I think the best way to deal with these guys is just literally move around the room. And uh, focus them down with the range attacks. And then like reset and assess the rest of the room. I don't like when they do this. No, stop doing those. No. Stop doing those little angry jumps, my dude. Seriously. Okay, there's the boss fight. I thought it was going to fall in that hole. Oh, here's the mushroom I remember getting at some stage. What's up, buddy? Thank you. Thank you, Two Stock Cousin, for saving me and my children from these disgusting Four Stock creatures. Traitors. Please take my eldest spawn and help her proliferate these caves. Honey.
Uh, let's head back to the shop and buy HP because we're going to fight the, the worm now. So what I'm going to do is what I always try and do in... Wait, we can go down or fight the worm? Wait, what? I'm a tad bit confused. There's a down area and there's a boss symbol. What does this do? What happens if we go down? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I just wasn't paying attention. Does the chest we haven't accessed? Oh yeah, because it didn't have a key. Let's go do that quick, because I'm pretty sure we're going to die. <laughs> Pull your positivity. No, 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 no. That boss is annoying. We oh, have a baby chest. What's, what's, what's in the baby chest? No. All right, well, I should probably not have bought the restock thing. I was just hoping that it would restock with food to increase my chances of beating the boss. I should probably have saved that 250 gold so we can take 125 plus up to the store level, but... me. Let's try and beat this thing. Okay, this thing really sucks. Um, let me just finish this thought quick. I would like to... Um, focus on just dodging the boss at first and just killing the little things that she summons. Um, just try and get used to the pattern. And when the best time is to actually hit her. You can only hit her butt. Is that the best time to, to hit her? Is when she's spawning. I don't think there is any other time really that you can try and hit her. Then maybe? Too early. The jump, I mean. Oh, a crit. Oh, no, come on. I don't want to die like this. Okay, is that like our, our moment to strike? I don't know. Yeah, that's the boss fight. It's it's a pretty difficult one. But I think if you can just manage to dodge and just kill some of her little worms she spawns. Or at least be aware of their attacks as well, so you don't get damaged by them and, and trapped in place. And I think you can pretty easily beat the boss. Um, I think the literally the only window you have is to position yourself close to where her butt's gonna be when she shoots out the eggs. Oh man, that sounds disgusting. Close to where her butt's gonna be when she shoots out the eggs and then just take that moment to just get like two normal left clicks in. I think that's pretty much the only way you're going to be able to do this. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Just roughly at the 30 mark. Um, I'm really trying my best to keep episodes at the 30 mark because um, I've had some feedback that people really do prefer um, the episodes only that length. So I'm going to try my best to do that. Uh, let's quickly have a chat here with our little bud. Reduces elemental damage. Heal when praying at an altar. Chance at avoiding death. Increases swing damage, throw size, and throw speed. Yo, I want that. Oh, I can't craft it. Okay. Then we're going to progress to be able to craft that one. But guys, that is going to wrap it up for this one. Let me know what you think about the series. Hit the like button if you enjoyed and check out the rest of the channel. 
got three series going on now that this one's back. In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Cheers.